Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. It is currently 8.30 and I have a facial appointment this morning. I haven't filmed any videos or anything because since the last video I posted, I was so freaking sick you guys. I got COVID. Um, but before that I had strep this whole month of July. It's been nothing but sickness in my household. And when I tell you, I literally had a midsummer breakdown. I honestly was struggling, but now we're looking up. I'm fingers crossed that my household is over this sick rough patch that we've been in this whole entire month of July. But anyways, I booked myself a facial because I deserve some self-care between work and being sick and everything else in my life. I haven't really had a lot of time for self-care lately. So last weekend, my husband told me to go book an appointment to get a facial. So that's what I'm doing today. And then I have a nail appointment. And next weekend is my daughter's birthday. So I have to go get stuff for her today, for like goodie bags, for her birthday party. Um, and then I have to take her to a birthday party. So today is gonna be a fun filled day. So I figured I would take you guys along my day today. First, I need to go take out some money at the ATM. And then we are gonna be heading out in town. All right, got the money and now we are heading out in town. So yeah, I've been sick the past few weeks and I was struggling, you guys. So the first time I had COVID, I was in Hawaii and it wasn't bad whatsoever. I didn't have fevers. I honestly was just super tired, wasn't hungry and my throat hurt. But the second time around that I got it, I now understand when people say they had it so bad that they thought they were gonna die because I honestly thought I was dying. Even Andrew said he's never seen me that sick in his whole life. And on top of that, the, literally the day before I found out I had COVID, Stella was sick. So I had taken her to the doctor and she had RSV. So not only did I have COVID, she had RSV. And I didn't want her to catch COVID and RSV at the same time. So obviously I was like staying away from both Andrew and Stella, but Andrew had to take care of Stella because I was unable to. And it was just the past, I wanna say week and a half to two weeks have just been so freaking rough. Also, look how beautiful. Oops, can you see? Can you guys see how beautiful the day is? Oops, it is. It's such a nice morning. Anyways, it was, it's been so rough and then obviously I had to miss work and then before that I was super sick and Stella was super sick. We both had strep. So I just missed a lot of work this month in July, which is totally fine. It's not a big deal, but we've been off of our routine for weeks now and I haven't really had time for the gym that often. I'm lucky if I'm able to work out two to three times a week and usually that's just like my outlet that I'm able just to have time for myself and it's just the one thing I consistently do to, for myself. So that's been rough. So today's gonna be a full self-care day. Facial, nails, errands, and then I am gonna make time for the gym at some point today. I'm not gonna make any excuses or anything like that because I definitely need it. So that's where I've been. How have you guys been? I cannot believe we're already almost in August. Stella's birthday is on the 7th, but I decided to have a birthday party for her. So she is gonna be having a birthday party next Saturday on the 5th. And believe it or not, Stella's never had a birthday party, ever, ever, ever. Um, we've always just taken birthday trips. I mean, for her first birthday, we took her to Hawaii, which what first, what one-year-old gets to go to Hawaii for their birthday? I'm always like super extra. But this year, I asked her what she wanted to do, and she she actually said she wanted a birthday party. So that's what we're gonna do. It is Gabby Dollhouse themed and I'm so excited for her and she's so excited. She cannot stop talking about her birthday. So I cannot believe my little girl's gonna be five. Um, we also just ordered her backpack for school because she is gonna be starting kindergarten in August, which what is life? I wanna say I started filming YouTube videos uh gosh like my daily life videos when stella was not even two yet she was like a year and a half or something like that so it's just so crazy that how time literally 
It's just so crazy how time truly just flies by. I cannot believe I'm about to have a five-year-old and it makes me so happy but also so sad because she is growing up to be this like beautiful smart young lady and I don't know it just I already know the day she starts kindergarten I'm gonna be a huge mess so that's a lot of the updates that we have going on we have some other like behind the scenes updates that are just a handful right now but I'm not gonna get into that but there's just a lot going on right now also this summer is the hottest freaking summer here honestly you cannot leave your house because it's just so freaking hot so besides work and yeah work and then the occasional gym session we haven't really been going anywhere because it's too hot to do anything so I'm trying to do as much as I can here early in the mornings because by the time it gets like 10, 11 o'clock, it's already so hot. But I'm pulling up to my facial right now and I'm so excited. I can't remember the last time I got a facial, truly. it's It's been since we've lived back home in California. This is actually my first time getting a facial here in Japan and I'm very excited. There's a few places near me that do facials and I kind of just plan on trying some of the different spots to see who I like and what I like. But today I'm getting, I want to say it's like an hour and a half facial. They're going to do microdermabrasion, red light therapy. I want to say some type of like lifting anti-aging thing. So this is what we're working with now. I didn't even wash my face today because I figured she is going to be putting like a bunch of product on. I need to wash my hair as well today. I'm just, I'm just a mess. Just got out of my facial and it was so nice. Oh my God, it was so freaking nice. And I only spent 4,900 yen, which is about, I don't know, 30 something US dollars. It was awesome. She did red light therapy. She also did this magnet thing. It was kind of, it wasn't weird, but like, I think it was a lifting thing because every time she would like run it across my face and stuff I could feel my muscles like contracting and like lifting that was so cool but oh my gosh it feels so awesome I am gonna go home though and like kind of wash my face and put SPF on because I'm not sure if she put SPF like she put creams and stuff on it but obviously I don't speak really Japanese at least not like enough to ask her what kind of skincare she used so um, I'm gonna go do that before I do any skin damage but she did microdermabrasion red light therapy it was so freaking nice I'm definitely gonna book with them again I'm also gonna book um, Andrew an appointment as well because he could really use a good facial. I also <laughs> I feel like I'm saying also a lot, but I did book Stella an appointment for next Saturday She actually came here last weekend to get her hair cut and they braided her hair with like this pretty heart braid It was beautiful. So um, I thought she would love to have that for her birthday party on Saturday So Saturday morning we're coming back and she is gonna be getting her hair done and then her party starts at noon and I know she's gonna love her hair but I'm heading to Sokia to get Stella some food I tried to call Andrew but he didn't answer and I'm not sure if she's eaten yet so I'm gonna get her a curry bowl um, just to feed her because my nail appointment is in an hour and I want to go home and make some avocado toast so we are gonna quickly try to do that before the hour is up and then after my nail appointment I'm gonna come back and get Stella and then I have to take her to a birthday party which is actually in the area that I'm at right now so a lot of back and forth is what is happening today. have you guys set up on a hairbrush but 
this is what I made for my breakfast. It's 1021, so it's like breakfast slash brunch. But it's avocado toast. I use this really nice bread from out in town, microgreens, avocado. I also did hot honey from Trader Joe's. Andrew made Stella some bacon earlier, so I put half a slice of that underneath the egg. And then I got Andrew this bowl from out in town and it had like these really yummy chili flakes on it. So I added some of the chili flakes to that and then I think that's it. Oh, and everything but the bagel seasoning on the, look at that. Oh, isn't that not so delicious? Avocado toast is probably my favorite thing to eat in the mornings besides a really good veggie scramble, but look at that. Oh. Delish took me five minutes to make super quick and easy and will keep me full for the rest of the morning All right, I just finished eating breakfast and although I got a facial like I said I still want to wash my face um, because I'm not sure if she did SPF and My skin's really glowy. I have to leave in 20 minutes to go get my nails done And I wanted to throw in a little bit of makeup because after my nail appointment I'm gonna take Stella to a birthday party and I'm not really getting super ready today. I really just want to be super chill. But the facial, like I was saying in the car, was so awesome. Ooh, take off my contact. It was so awesome. I definitely want to go back. And I just feel like it just, I don't know, I look really refreshed. We're going to do a little bit of skincare. I use the SkinCeuticals Purifying Gel Cleanser. Let my face a little really soft. I'm sure she did put SPF, but I'm not sure. Better safe than sorry. Lately, the one thing that's been going right in life is my skin. My skin has been so nice. My skin has definitely been skinning. I still use a retinol, but I'm mostly on Trinoin. I use that every other night. And I feel like that is, has been just such, sorry, turn that off, totally just wasting water. I feel like Tretinoin has been such a major just game changer in my skincare, the texture that I kind of had prior, and I've never really had big pores, which is nice, but I just feel like it keeps everything nice and tight. So a mix of the Tretinoin, my medical grade skincare, and Botox, I feel like I found the secret to anti-aging. Um, I don't overdo it with my skin. I probably do at-home face mask every once a week or every other week, depending on when I have time or I could remember. But I feel like my skin's been really nice, I want to say the past year. And if you ask me, I don't even look 30, so love that. I normally would use a toner after I wash my face, but since I did just get a facial, I don't want to overdo it with my skincare. So I'm just going to add my SPF. Whew, that feels good. I'm going to put my contacts back on though <clears throat> because without them, I am blind. We are going home in December and I cannot wait, but one of the main things I want to do when we go home is get LASIK eye surgery. I'm just so over putting contacts on daily. I'm over wearing glasses. Glasses give me the worst headache. So I typically only wear them before bed or when I'm home. And then contacts, I don't mind, but it's just annoying having to put contacts every day on. I would love to just be able to wake up and see. And apparently LASIK is life-changing for people. So that's on my top list of priorities is to get LASIK and get my hair done because I haven't done anything to my hair in over a year. I haven't bleached it. As you can t as you can tell, I'm like pretty much on the natural side. My hair has gotten really long these past few months also. So I'm actually trying not to do anything to my hair until we go home in December and my friend can do my hair. I think I'm gonna stay away from bleach though. I have been loving the darker locks on my hair lately. It just looks healthier. But I think what I want to do is just do like a mix of a really pretty like 
not bronde because I don't want to bleach it, but really light brown pulled through my hair so that way it still gives it dimension. It's not one solid color, but it's also not bleach. So that's kind of what um, the plan is for now. Could change, but I really don't want to be doing any bleach, I don't think, on my hair. We'll see, but I'm loving how healthy my hair has been lately. Also, the two SPFs I like to mix is my SkinCeuticals one and this Biore one. This is a Japanese SPF and I love it. This is my second tube. So what I typically do is just add a little bit of that. So not a lot. And then right now I just used a pharmacy under eye, yeah, under eye cream. It's like their vitamin C one. And then I use the SkinCeuticals one. It has like this pink, pink iridescent to it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But I love it. It makes you look really glowy without having to add like highlight or any other products. So I just kind of lift up. And that's all I'm going to put on my face today. To be honest, I'm not going to really wear a lot of makeup. I'm just going... Actually, I need a little bit more on my neck. I'm just going to do probably bat brows, mascara, and then maybe a little bit of concealer. But I don't really feel like I need a lot of makeup today. I kind of wanted to have like a chill, relaxing day. Like I said earlier, I have a lot of things going on today. And since I do want to go to the gym later, I don't want to be wearing a face full of makeup also this is what my nails look like right now I don't know if you guys will be able to see hold on the lighting's pretty bad in my restroom I, I hate it um but anyways I don't know what I'm gonna do yet I was on Pinterest last night and I was looking at some inspo pics of nails so I screenshotted four or five and leave it to me for them to be all completely different I normally play it really safe and do like a nude a nude nail or just like white or something very simple but I kind of want to do something a little funky so we shall see what I end up doing but all right I'm gonna go downstairs hang out with Stella before I have to leave and then I will see you guys probably in the car okay I just got home and I got my nails done I ended up going with really pretty pink I feel like in the spirit of the Barbie movie coming out recently I would go with pink and then I just put on a little bit Stella, I don't want you in the clip. I just put on a little bit of mascara and then did my brows and I'm not gonna wear any makeup today. And then I have on this aloe top that I had on from <laughs> this morning. Oh, yeah, and go put your Crocs on. And then I thrifted. I did. Okay, and then I thrifted this skirt in Tokyo. Um, you can't be in the videos. I thrifted this skirt in Tokyo last summer. Hi. So that's what I'm wearing, but I need to go take out some money for the birthday gift. And we are gonna have a fun fill errand day. You should be crazy. When's your birthday? When's your birthday? When's your birthday? Poop. I guess I poop. You're a poop. Yeah. <laughs> She's a poop right now. <laughs> so weird. We are back home. The birthday party was so cute. It was Super Mario themed and Stella had the best time. It is currently 3.15 though and I need a desperate pick me up. I still want to head to the gym here in a little bit. Stella is eating some pizza from the party. She didn't really want to eat there but she wanted to take two slices home so I warmed that up and she's eating that right now. But I'm going to make a little pick me up before I put her down for an NAP. She is going to take a little bit of a later nap. But to be honest I'm kind of tired too. I could use a pick me up and a power nap. So. So I'm just going to make an iced coffee. I just have some cold brew from the grocery store. Um, I do have my espresso machine, but I kind of don't feel like doing all that effort. Even though it's so easy to use, minimal effort is what I need at the moment. Also, you're balancing on a Pop-Tart box. So let's pray. You guys stay there. I need to get some ice. So the other day, I was on base shopping, which to be honest, I hardly go to the commissary here on base because did I get two sworn we had one already open and yes I do have one already open but I hardly go grocery shopping on base just because off base is more fresh and they have better options it's cheaper because we pay in yen so anyways I hardly go on base to grab a couple of things because they never have anything that I want anyways but when I went a week ago they had stoke and I used to drink this all the time 
in the States. So I was so excited. I grabbed two. Did I need it? No. But when you're overseas and you find little hidden gems at the grocery store, you got to stock up because you don't know when you're going to see it again. So I'm also going to add some creamer, make it a gorgeous color. I don't think I need sugar or anything. Let me double check. I haven't had this in so long. I forgot what it tastes like. So That's good. Actually, that's kind of sweet. But it's really good. Does it need any sugar? Mmm. Amazing. I still have a lot to do today. I wanted to go to the store and buy Stella stuff for her goodie bags for her birthday next weekend. But I, I'm literally so tired. I've been going since I woke up this morning. And although I had a self-care morning and it's been nice and fabulous, just the heat here and running like back and forth and just running around has me so tired. So I'm going to enjoy this, put Stella down for a nap, and then I don't even want to do those dishes back there, but someone has to. Andrew's actually working on some cars today. He has like a side business here on base and he details cars. And although it's amazing and he loves it, it keeps him so busy on the weekend. So I kind of have to keep the house. I kind of have to be the one to keep the house together so to say so I'm gonna do that before I regret not doing that and then hopefully Andrew finishes up with his cars early enough today that we could go and have some dinner I'm thinking sushi sounds amazing right about now it is now the next day and I forgot my camera at home so I am vlogging on my phone but I have to run a couple of errands for Stella's birthday party next week so she is in the back we just pulled up I'm taking her to lunch and then we're gonna run to Daiso to grab a couple of things for her gift baskets I need to order her her birthday cake I did wake up early and go to the gym did laundry it's been a very productive morning so far Thank you. 